God has been our help in ages past. God has been our safe home. So we come with praise. forevermore. Let us join in prayer. O oh God, giver of every gift, now and in times past, we remember your mighty acts that have given us strength and endurance through hardship and loss. We remember your steadfast love that has brought joy and new life. Be with us all in these days of change. We rejoice in opportunities that lie ahead of us. Open now our hearts to hear anew your call upon our lives. Plant your dream and visions deep within our souls. Then speak afresh your promise to stay with us, that we may be bold to make real the dreams and bring life to the visions. For we pray through Jesus Christ. Amen. Can you hear me? There you go. That's better. Uh, I'd like to say a few words about Reverend Heng. Reverend Heng came to the United States in 2008 from Cambodia. He is married to Ivana Heng, and they have three boys. Philo, Philo. It's Philo, not Philo. Shiloh and Kylo the youngest. Reverend Heng hopes that they will be raised by the church. In the 10 years that Reverend Heng has been a pastor in the United Methodist Church, Ivana has been a great support in the churches he served, making and printing bulletins, creating PowerPoints, etc. She also served as secretary in the United Methodist Women and worked with the children's ministry. Reverend Hang's goal as a pastor is to grow the church. First, by helping people grow closer to God so that their lives are transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit to become the people that God wants them to be. And second, by praying that God will inspire people to live their faith, love one another, seek ways to help their local community, and take part in the national and international mission trips. As chair of the SPRC, I'm excited to see how this congregation will work in partnership with Reverend Hang to see these goals and more accomplished. Please join me in extending a very warm welcome to Reverend Watana Heng. Friends, thank you so very much for your hospitality, for your warm welcome. I've been in transition uh, so far, moving from my previous app app appointment church to this church. And I've seen so many of you through Zoom, you know, online thing, and even face to face. Some of you even went to the parsonage to clean. That just made my heart so warm. It's just amazing, you know, and many of you were saying, this is my number. Give me a call. I'll come out. I'll help you out. That's what we do together. And I was like, that's what I want to be in. This is such a great community. Your warm welcome, how you treat me, it's just amazing. And, you know, you guys are great. The last few days, I've been in the office, going to the, uh, the mission thrift store, meeting with the ladies for the, the soul group, the, the boutique group. It's just Wow, everybody is smiling, everybody is happy, everybody is just like, I'm ready, we are going to have this great new beginning together. 
So friends, what else can I ask for, right? But we all are in this together, and we're going to make this place smell like love. Can you imagine, friends? As we are sitting here, we are baking love, right? <laughs> Everybody driving by, right? It was like, that smells something good here. What's going on there, right? And we are kneading this dough together, you know, we put the yeast on, and we put it in the oven, and we are cooking, right? And it's just going to be like, wow. And the world is going to say, that is what I'm talking about. This group of people is amazing, and I want to be a part of that. And we say, welcome, come on in. We want to be a part of you too. Amen? Hey, I can't wait to worship with you all. Hey, let's do this together, okay? Let's do that. Thank you. God bless you. Continuing with our worship, let's go on to the litany of the welcome. Dear friends, today we welcome Reverend Watana Heng, and you just have to keep saying it, <laughs> who has been appointed to serve as our pastor. We believe that Watana is well qualified and has been prayerfully appointed by our bishop. Watana has been sent to live among us as preacher of the Word of God, a minister of sacraments and a sustainer of love, order, and discipleship of the people of God. And today, friends, today I affirm my commitment to live faithfully among you as your pastor depending on God's grace and power. Blessed are those who trust is in you, O Lord, our God, for in your presence is fullness of joy. People of God, will you do your part as we begin a new chapter of our ministry in this place? We affirm our commitment to support this congregation with our prayers, our presence, our gifts, our sacrifice, and our witness. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, O God, for a day in your courts is better than a thousand of elsewhere. And so now let us pray. Eternal God, strengthen and sustain us in our ministry together. Give to all of us patience, courage, and wisdom so to care for one another and challenge one another that together we may follow Jesus Christ. Help us to live together, Lord, in love and offer our gifts and talents in your service through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray, friends. This time, we remember our friends and our loved ones. Wherever they are, whatever they're going through. Maybe you've heard or you've talked to them on your phone and you think about them right now. Either your neighbors or your friends, your coworkers. Remember them in your prayer. Remember our country as well. Pray for the leaders. Pray for people who work in the Congress. Pray for people who work in the Senate. Pray, pray for our president. As we all are in this together, pray for the world. As we all are in this together, pray that God, righteousness, God's love and peace and justice will be upon this world. Let us pray with me. Loving and merciful God, here we are. We call ourselves your disciples. We bend our knees. We close our eyes. We surrender our lives to you, Lord. Because you are our God and you are our creator. May your healing power be upon each and every one of us, Lord. May your love shine through us so the world will know we are your disciples. Lord, we remember our friends and our loved ones. 
we lift their name up to you one by one. Please hear our prayers, Lord. We pray for our country, we pray for our world, and especially we pray for this wonderful community. May your love shine through, Lord. We pray for this little fellowship, this group of people who come together and surrender our lives, and we say we all in this together, and we want to shine through, and we want to we wanna just be your witness. God, help us as we are going through this together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remembering to let the Hmong language begin, let us join together in the prayer Jesus taught us as we say our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Um, today's scripture reading is 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 through 15. The point is this, the one who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and the one who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves the cheerful giver. And God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance, so that by always having enough of everything, you may share abundantly in every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for her food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way for your great generosity, which will produce thanksgiving to God through us. For the rendering of this ministry not only supplies the needs of the saints, but also overflows with many thanksgivings to God. Through the testing of this ministry, you glorify God by your obedience to the confession of the gospel of Christ. And by the generosity of your sharing with them and with all others, why is he long for you and pray for you because of the surpassing grace of God that he has given you? Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Amen. Do we have children among us? Would you like to come for a children moment? Would you like to come down for a children moment? Come on. Come on in. Very nice to see you all here today. Let me let me know what's your name again? Lena. Lena and Emily. Emily. Lena and Emily and we have Joshua over there and we have Jordan and the other one out there he's big enough don't have to be in the children program, right? I mean everybody should be in the children program, right? Sometimes we benefit a lot from the children program. Are you excited? Is it the first time for you at church? Is it the first time? After a while, right? After a long while. Are you, do, do, do you love seeing everybody face to face? That's great, right? How do you feel? Do you feel good? Yeah? Oh, my wife is here. We've got the three children. Oh, man. I feel so bad for her to take care of the three children by herself. I'm supposed to be out there and helping her. Forgive me, friends. 
That, that's one of my job, right? To take care of the three boys. So they're going to grow up with you all. Oh, my, my parents-in-law are here too. So that's good. Well, my parents-in-law are in the house, friends. Come on, Philo, Shiloh. Come on, come close to me. Oh, you guys just steal the show. Come sit down here, sit down here. And I have another one, Kylo, back there with my wife. I feel so bad. She so had to take care of the three of them, dress them and everything. This morning, I was a little busy doing another service for the Cambodian Fellowship all the way down in L.A., so um, my apology. But anyway, friends, do you know who I am? I'm the pastor of this church. You know what a pastor is, right? What do pastor do? Yeah, yeah, he leads the church, right? Pastor is like the boss, right? Like a CEO, man. Like big, right? And you will feel full of the pastor, right? His title, like reverend. You know, reverend, like the fearful one. Whoa. You walk to the pastor, you're like, whoa. No, I'm, I'm, just a, I'm just a servant, okay, friends? I'm, I'm with you all. I serve you. I help you to, to love Jesus even more, to see Jesus in our lives, to know that we are here for a purpose, to know that God just forgives us so much. He loves us so much, and we just want to show this love to the world as well, okay? And we're going to have this wonderful children program together. We're going to grow up as a community of faith, knowing that whenever we need help, whatever going on in our life, we can always go back to God and say, Lord, help me, right? And sometimes it is so meaningful and so helpful to pray with our parents. Is that right, Philo? Do you pray with your parents? Yeah? During dinner time? During meal time? Is that right, Shiloh? Yeah. Yes, that's good. You see, everybody here, all everybody is new to us, huh? Yeah. Yes, and we will know each other well. They will love you so much. Do you love the children, friends? Yeah. Hey! Would you do everything to help raise our children in our church? Yeah? yeah? Would you give your time, your talent, and your treasure to raise our children in our church? Yeah. Right. Yeah, you see that? Everybody loves us all. That's good, huh? Yeah. Yes, that is very good. So, remember, God always on our side. I am your friend. If you have any prayer requests, you can give me a call. If you have party, call me. I want to be in your party too, <laughs> right? If you, are, if, you are, if you have a wedding, tell me. If you want to know what God has called you to do, to be or to become, you can give me a call. Talk to your parents. I'll talk to you. i help you out. And we, 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 we will be like one family together. Okay? All right, let us pray. Friends, can you please extend your hand to our children and pray for them, okay? Pray from your heart. Let's pray for them. Lord, we pray for all these children. They are the church. They are here with us. May your love shine through us to all the children. May your blessing be upon each and every one of these kids, Lord. Shine through them. May you show them the future that you want them to be. May you guide their steps. May you help them grow, grow in this wonderful community. And may you, may you help them to become the world changer. Who knows, in the near future, you will call them to be the president, to become the secretary of state, to become the doctors, the nurses, the teachers, the, the, the police officer, the engineers, and, and you name it. Because you are great. Thank you, Jesus, for being a part of our life. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Now you can go back to your seat. Go back to mom, okay? Where's mommy? Mommy's over there. Mommy over there. Let's give them a round of applause, man. Woo. Look at that. And we have a lot more space. Okay? We have another step over there, too. We can welcome more children. Amen? All right, if you have children, bring them. If you don't have one, make some, right? <laughs> can you make some? Yeah, you can. For a new beginning, give thanks. Woo. 
Um, I feel very humble, friends, to be among you all. It's going to be great, amen? Hey, can you say it all together? It's going to be great. Yes, it's going to be great. Woo! Help me out here. Have you ever started a new beginning sometime, somewhere in your life? Maybe a new place to live, right? Move from one place to another. Maybe going to college. Remember that time when you had to leave home and go to college, live in a dorm? Or maybe a new beginning financially, right? Or job-wise, you got to change jobs. How do you feel? Huh? All kinds of emotion coming in, right? Overwhelmed. What's going on? Expectation and all that. I remember when I came to the U.S. in year 2008, came to seminary. I was 26 years old, friends. Whoa. That was a long time ago. I was living in a dorm with the traditional students. They were 19, 20, you know, they were traditional students. I was the only one older than everybody living in the dorm. I remember one day especially, I came here in January. Actually, I arrived to the U.S. in O'Hare, Chicago airport on December 31st, 2007. Snowstorm, you name it, from a hot country, Cambodia. After a few weeks, I was li living in a dorm. Everything was so different. And then I experienced the snow. I, I remember I was sitting on a chair looking out through the window. And the snow was falling gently and nicely. My heart was aching. I asked myself, what am I doing here? What's going on? Why? Why am I here? It's not a place that, that is familiar to me. People don't speak the language that I speak. They don't eat the food that I love. I don't have these friends that I can always hang out with. I understand exactly what they want. It's so different. I, I was like, Lord, why, why you put me here? Why? Do something. Do something. It's hard, friends. But then, but then that call come into my heart. What the you are, you are here because God is working with you along the way. You are struggling here because you're going to grow. Because, because you don't know what the future holds, but you should know who holds the future. Because God is holding your future. It's going to be all right. That helped uplift my heart a lot, friends, that feeling. God has called us all together here for this new beginning. Amen. This is the July 4th weekend. You could have stayed at home and do a lot of other good things, but you decided to come here to make me feel so welcome. Well, no, 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 that's not the reason, right? You want to come here because you want to worship our Lord Jesus Christ together because this is so important for you because you know that God has played a big part for your life and you cannot help staying at home. You have to come to worship Him in the community of faith You've been looking for it for so long. You've been asking for it for so long. The pandemic, it kind of separated us for a little while. But now we are in this new beginning together. The new pastor. Ooh, he looked good. Right? It's okay. Well, come on now. I need some encouragement. And you cannot wait. Right? The scripture that Josiah, uh, 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 Josiah just read today, the scriptures say, you are blessed to be a giver, right? It is more blessed to give than to receive, right? God has called you to come together so that we can give to our community. Friends, remember this. None of us is better than all of us right? None of us individually can make God's love so tangible. But when we all come together, what can we do? We can move mountains, right? What has God called you to do, to be or to become, right? In the book of Matthew, it says, 
You go and make the disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In our United Methodist Church as the denomination, our mission is what? To make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. Can you say that with me? To make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. And what is the mission statement of our church? Memorial United Methodist Church of Clovis. Did you know? What's the mission? What is the mission of our church? Go to our website. Check our website. I just checked it last night. And I find it so easy. You know what the mission of our church is? To make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. Yes. Plain, simple. Just like our denomination mission statement. Nothing wrong with that. You were smart. You picked the best one. It fit my gun. I'm going to use it. It's good, right? Because that is the purpose of all of us together. To make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. And how can we do this? And we are here in this place together. I'm the only person, friends. I'm going to go through trials and errors, right? And I'm going to say sorry if I make some mistakes. Sometimes you probably don't understand my pronunciation. I was born in Cambodia. Cambodia is my first language. Uh, Khmer is my first language. English is my second language. I had a very, very strong accent before I came to the U.S., Many words I don't pronounce well. And I will have to ask for your patience, for your forgiveness, for your understanding. I will try my best to be your servant, to work alongside with you, to be a part of your community. And friend, look around. You look around. Because it's not all about me, but it's all about people who sit next to you right now. Look around. Look around. How many of you are here today? What have you been doing? You guys are so amazing. I'm so pleased to see the ministry that is happening in our church. The Mission Thrift Store yesterday did a wonderful job. They just broke the world record, right? Where is Gary? Where is Gary? Oh, Richard. Richard, what was, what was the, the record that we made yesterday? 2,400. When did we make 2,400 in a weekend? Never. This is the first time. This is such a great new beginning. Rich. The prior record that was broken is 1,800 a month. 1,800 a month. That was a long time ago. This is the world record in the Guinness book, okay? It's just like, whoa, right? I came to the boutique group. The ladies coming and sewing together. They were so excited, ready for the boutique happening in November. Are you going to come? And have fun and, 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 and party. And, and Dorothy uh, D said, I want some potluck going on there. I want some potluck too. Bring some cheesecake, friend. <laughs> it's going to be good. And what, what are the ministries that's going on right now? The, 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 the worship community. Oh, they can't wait to form this worship place to become a welcoming place to others. Right? The, the, the hospitality team, they yesterday came, they clean, they move things around, they make sure everything is organized, right? And the, the, the computer team, the tech team, they want to make sure that everything is going well, the sound, the video, so that we can post it online as well. People can watch it from home. I ask that every one of us take part in this wonderful group together. Because when we are together, we can move mountains. When we are together, we are the community of faith. We are the community of fellow, uh, fellow believers. When we are together, we inspire one another, right? When we are together, we give each other hope. When we are together, we feel so close to one another, and there is no other community better than this. And please remember this. I love you. Jesus loves you, and there is nothing you can do about it. Amen?
There's nothing, absolutely nothing you can do about it. All you can do is to give thanks to our Lord Jesus Christ. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because it's given Jesus Christ for us and you say but how can i give thanks i am too old i am too young i am too rich is that a word for too rich i am too poor i am too disabled i am too this i am too that what can i do i'm i'm different and now let the weak say i am strong let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. For a new beginning, give thanks. Lord, may the word of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable to your sight. Because you are my rock and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. Come on. Yes. Yes. God is good. Amen. To God be the glory. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much. at that night Jesus brought his disciples to the upper room 12 of them they were anticipating what is, what did Jesus gonna say what, what's going on here yeah yeah they were in, in, anticipating for great feast Passover Seder great dinner together Jesus got, Jesus got to the, the room and Jesus called the disciples out and and he washed their feet and he said look I come here to serve not to be served and go do likewise what, what a great what a great commandment Jesus gave it to the last minute to his disciples he know he's going to go through trials and temptation and crucifixion and resurrection a little later and now he wanted to leave his legacy his mission to his disciples Friends, we are here today to remember that time when Christ said, go and serve. You are called here to, to serve, not to be served. Because when you serve, you know that you are living. Because when you serve, you know the purpose of your life. It's because you serve, you have that genuine smile in your life. It's because when you serve, God is living in you and you know it. And you want that. You want that. The smile that really genuinely coming in from you. Today, I invite you all to come to the Lord's table. I invite you all to really contemplate on what God did on that day. In the beginning, I'm not going to touch our bread, but I'm going to touch this bread. In the beginning of the dinner, Jesus took the bread and broke it and gave thanks to God and gave it to his disciples and said, take and eat. This is my body broken for you. The disciples didn't understand, didn't really understand. What, what does that mean, my body broken for you? Until they saw what happened on the cross. The body was broken for them so that they can be saved. And Jesus said, take and eat. This is my body broken for you. And do this as often as you can in remembrance of me, in remembrance of my love, in remembrance of my forgiveness. 
in remembrance of the mission that I have called that I have called you to do, to be, and to become. And after dinner, Jesus took the took the cup, gave thanks to God, gave it to the disciples, and said, "Drink from this cup. This is the cup of the new covenant." Pour out for you and for many. Pour out for you and for many. Pour out for you and many. The disciples didn't understand that. What does that mean? I always drink the wine. Well, what are you talking about? The cup that have been poured out for you and for many. Until they saw what happened on the cross. That, now, now, that they now no longer have to go to the temple and bring the sacrificial lamb or to kill the doves, the animals anymore. Because Christ is the lamb on the cross. His blood has been shed on the cross for us all, once and for all. Drink from this cup for the forgiveness of your sin. Amen. Friends, the usher will... will will give you the, the peace, the elements. And when you eat, please remember the body of Christ broken for you and the blood of Christ shed for you. The usher will... Let us pray. God of the universe, once again, we humble our hearts. We surrender our lives to you, Lord, because you are great. You are amazing. Thank you, Lord, for your love, your sacrificial love. That moment, Lord, when you, when you proclaim that we all we all are in your kingdom. That you did it, you did, you, you do it all for all of us. We are so forever grateful and we want to give you thanks. Lord, may what we do become so significant in our life. It's not just only a symbol. It's not just only we do this because it's the first Sunday of the month. But we want to do this. We, we want to remind ourselves how good, how wonderful, how grateful we are to you. May this act of Holy Communion, Lord, be acceptable to you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. And friends, as you have known that in our church together, we can do all this because of your support, because of your love. We have come so far together, friends, we have been thriving even through the pandemic. We are still here. The pandemic didn't kill us. It's only going to make us stronger. And we all can do this because of your love and your generous support. You continue, please, to help the ministry of our church. You can write a check to our church. You can drop it in the, the, the offering plates, either in the entrance, in the narthex right there, in the entrance, or you can give it online, give to us online as well. Go to uh, Memorial UMC of Clovis, you should see our website there, and you can donate online as well, okay? Now let's see the doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God all creatures here below. Praise God above ye heavenly host. Creator Christ and Holy
You all know this one. Come on now. For spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains, majesty above the fruited plain. America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good. Shining sea, oh beautiful, for heroes prove in liberating strife, who more than self their country love and mercy more than life. America, America, may God thy Success and nobleness and every gain divine. Oh, beautiful for patriot dream that sees beyond the years. Thine alabaster cities gleam. Happy Fourth, friends. Hey, that's a great day. Hey, please remember. Yeah, yeah. That our country deserves a big round of applause. You should be grateful forever. Remember to be thankful for our country. Friends, don't take it for granted. I used to live in different part of the world. This is the best country on earth, okay? I'm not saying the, the ex excellent country, the perfect country. There's a lot of things that we can do to make this country even better. But so far, I think this country is the best country on earth. And the best country on us. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So be thankful, be grateful for what we are, what we have. Try our best to help this country to grow, to be prosper. And it all start with one person at a time. It start with each and every one of you. It start with all of us as we continue to bake this bread of love. Remember what I said? That this building is going to become like a uh, like a like a, an oven, right? Baking that bread, right? Everybody drive by, they will see that little smoke going up, and it smells so delicious, you know? And they were like, what is going on in this group of people? What are they doing here? They are together. They are making that group of, that group of spirit, that, that, that kind of bread, that kind of love that's gonna, that's gonna go and feed the world. Amen? All right, now let's join with me in the unison prayer here. You can find in the bulletin. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and God's righteousness, and all things shall be added to you. Ask, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be open unto you. Go now, trusting that the Lord of heaven loves you even in our brokenness and strife. Take each day as a gift from God. Live it prayerfully, thankfully, and wisely. Hallelujah. Amen. Friends, we are very, very grateful for the fact that we can be here together. This is such a new beginning. Please remember this. Don't ruin it. I don't want one day the government come in and say, no, you cannot come together anymore because you don't follow this and that. No, 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 no. We really enjoy this a lot, right? Let us take good care of ourselves. Let us be cautious so that it's only going to get better. Can you imagine one day you can sit a little more closer to one another, right? That you can nudge each other during the service. That you can eventually take the mask off. For right now, 
if the CDC, if the government, uh, uh, what do you call, instructions say, keep it on, just keep it on, you know, it's okay. If, if you have to take it off, be cautious, know where you are, protect ourselves, protect our friends, so that we can continue to do this forever. Amen? And for now, may you go, may you go with God's love, with the Spirit of God, may you go with that kind of love that the world will want a part of it that will say what is going on with you why are you so energetic why are you so loving why you smile a lot what is going on in your life and they say i want to be a part of it and you say you want some let's go let's go get some right this is the best united methodist church in the whole wide world right the memorial united methodist church of clovis do you believe that if you believe that, let's give God a big round of applause. Hallelujah. Go, friends. Ice cream so-so is waiting for you. I can't wait to see you more in the discipleship lab and different events. And we're going to have a great time together. You want to know more about me, give me a call. The office number, text me or email me. I welcome. I want to hear from you. Amen? Amen. God bless you, friends. God bless you. I'll see you next week, if not earlier.